Hey everybody, welcome to Facebook Live. You're looking now at the new studio here at Hook and Hunt TV. So uh, thanks for joining us tonight. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to put them on there and I will answer them after uh, the segment is over. So this is where we're going to be doing a lot of the Facebook Lives from uh, as far as building lures and, and talking about new things. Also tonight, if you want to, please comment below if you want to see some other stuff on the Facebook Lives that you want us to talk about, and please bring that to our attention. Tonight we're going to be talking about spinnerbait options for the spring. And so I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite spinnerbaits and what I've built and why I use them uh, in the spring, especially the cold, obviously the cold water period. And tonight we're going to concentrate on largemouth. So... One of, the, one of the things I want to show you right away is this is one, for largemouth, I like a lot of vibration in my baits. When it comes to smallmouth, I throw a lot of willow leaf type spinner baits. And, but when it comes to largemouth, especially in the spring of the year when water is colder, I'm going to build baits where I get a lot of vibration out of them. And this is a guppy style head from Lure Parts Online. It's got a big uh, 4 0 hook on there. And as you can see, maybe you can see here, the hook is bent out a little bit. Um, those of you who've watched some of these know that I do that a lot. And the reason being is I want the hook point up a little bit at an angle. That's just how I build all my baits. Your hooking percentage on that is always going to be farther back in the fish's face than if you just leave it straight on. So I bend mine up at an angle a little bit. The other thing I do when I go to build a bait, and we're going to build a bait here in a minute, one of my other ones, is I never want my top wire covering the hook. Okay, I don't want it to act like a weed guard. So sometimes I'll, I'll cut off a small portion of the wire. I'll shorten it. I still get plenty of vibration out of it, but I just don't have anything except for the blade that's going to hang over that hook. Now, this is a half ounce size. I like throwing a big spinner bait in the spring for largemouth. I want to put off a lot of vibration. I'll actually tell you the skirt that I use most of the time. This is my number one favorite skirt in the spring. It's a coleslaw. Uh, type skirt. I like it because it's got white. It's got lime green. It's a contrasting color. I'm probably going to be throwing this one in stained water a lot. So I want. I have a big Indiana blade, a six on the back here, and a five Colorado on the front. If you notice, I very rarely throw the straight blades. I always like uh, having uh, the indents on the blades here. It just deflects the light a little bit more. And uh, so this is probably one that I'm going to throw a lot. I also use a twist wire a lot. I use some R-bends too, but a lot of times when I'm throwing bigger baits like this, I do like the strength of the twist wire on these spinner baits. kind of old school thing, and uh, but I really do like that. So let's get into building a bait. And the one that I want to build for you tonight is the lure that I'm going to use on a rainy and cloudy day. I learned a long time ago, actually I think it was back in the 90s from a book by Kevin Van Dam about spinnerbait colors. And white on a cloudy rainy day puts off a better silhouette. It shows up better in the water than gold or silver blades. I've taken that musky fishing. I've taken that pike fishing. I've done that largemouth bass fishing for years. And in my opinion, it works. So what I want to do is I want to build my cloudy rainy day spinnerbait for you. And a lot of people probably haven't seen this combination before. Um, and so hopefully this is going to help you out. So here's how we're going to start. We're going to start out with that guppy head, and this, how you can, this is how you can order from Lure Parts Online, just right here. So I'm going to start with that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to bend that hook out a little bit. That's all I want. If you can see the contrast right there, all I want is an angle just up a little bit. Now this one I've already cut the wire, so it's fine right here. What I'm going to do now... I don't need to put a bead on here because of the twist wire bend. If it was an R bend, well then I would put a bead there to make sure the clevis doesn't go down into the R bend. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Colorado blade, put it on the clevis here, and then we're going to slide it right through, just like so. Okay, that's exactly how I want it. Now I like the pearl beads, and so I'm going to take five of these here and put those on. There's one two, three, four, and five. Okay, so there you go. That's how I'm going to start that spinner bait, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a long nose pliers, and everybody bends their wires probably a little bit differently. This is just how I do them. So we're going to bend it down and around, just like so. 
get that up. And I just built like that arc just right there, put it in, and then I'm gonna bend it up just a little bit more, okay? Now I already put the swivel on the blade here just to save us some time, but then I'm gonna put a big Indiana blade on there, and then I'm just gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna close it. And this heavier wire, sometimes it takes a little bit more. There you go. Just like so. Perfect, that's what I want. Now there is my blade configuration, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the skirt, and this sk skirt is actually called Violet Ghost. I love this one. It puts off, it's, it's like a white, but it also has a couple different colors in it. It puts off a good glimmer in the water. I like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet, th wet this area first. And then I want the scale pattern on top and the white part of the skirt on the bottom. I think that just looks more natural. So we're going to flip that over like so. There's a scale pattern. Put that up. Boom. And that's it. That's how easy it is to make your own spinner bait. Now I'm going to add a little something to this for you. And I started doing this a couple years ago and I really like it. I think it helps the spinnerbait stand out better. You have regular light and then you have UV light. And I don't work for this company or anything, but what I like to do is UV light is light that can be seen even when there's no regular light down there. And fish can see UV light. Well, I've always said that I want my baits to be seen. And so what I'll do with this, because, and the reason I say that, that sounds obvious, but fish feed by sight first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple sprays on that. That puts a clear coating on there and then I'm gonna shake it for a couple seconds and have that dry. Once you put it on there, that's gonna be fine. It actually puts like a little shine on that skirt and now even in darker water or in low light condition, that skirt's gonna stand out more. Why am I spraying it on there? Well, that's where I want the bite to be focused, is on the skirt part of it. So I'm gonna spray, and all this is available at Lure Parts Online. One bottle can last you, oh my goodness, a real long time. So that is basically just my cloudy day spinner bait. Now when I go to make a bunch of baits up, Here's one thing that I do. I get, these are just little sound tiles and I put this on here. One, I can always see the components that I'm building on and it's very hard for the stuff to roll off the table. The, spin, the trailer on the spinner bait that I'm gonna use, very simple, is a VMC 2.0 trailer. I love this trailer hook. It's not big enough where it's gonna hang up on a lot of stuff, but it's big enough to be where it's gonna be very effective for a trailer hook. Here's actually my spinner bait box. Um, so I can show you some of the baits that I've been working on. As you can see, this is the workbench part of the thing. If we were going to be talking smallmouth spinner baits tonight, this is one of my favorites, or probably my favorite smallmouth spinner bait right here. Double willow leaf blades, 3 8 ounce size head. This is my perfect smallmouth spinner bait. Um, I just, I really like that one right there. It's perfect size, and double willow leaves has caught me way more smallmouth than just about any other blade combination out there. So that's why I use double wool leaf. I am gonna show you one more cool little spinner bait here. When things get tough in the spring, I will downsize sometimes to a smaller spinner bait. And here is one of the ones that is what I call my money bait right here. This is a little three eighths ounce head and I downsized the blades on here, cut the wire a little shorter. And the reason I do this is this is one of the baits that I like to flutter around lay downs, brush piles, and boat docks. I got a heavier head, smaller blades, so when I flutter that, these blades are gonna spin a lot easier with a heavy head with smaller blades. Like I said, this one is my money bait. I really, really like that one. That gets a lot of bites when times are tough. So if you got any questions about any of these baits tonight, I'd be more than happy uh, to give you components and part numbers and things like that if you guys are interested in it. But these, when it comes to largemouth, these are probably two of the ones I'm going to be throwing the most in the spring. Again, my sunny or just average normal day and then my cloudy rainy day bait is right there. Um, and just so you guys know, every episode or excuse me, every Facebook Live that we do like this, just realize that there are discount codes for you. And what I'm going to have you do is we, we actually have a new discount code for you as well. If you go to Covercraft and you need any seat coverage or anything like that, put in that code HHTV20, you'll get 10% off. Go to Lure Parts Online, Hook and Hunt 10, and you'll get 10% off. The Prime One Camo has even jumped in on the game for us, 
And all, a lot of you have commented before that you like my shirts, you like my clothes. Well, those all come from Prime One. Go to Prime One website, primeonecampbell.com, put in the code HOOKHUNT25, and you'll get 25% off anything on their website. So that's some pretty incredible stuff. Now, before we leave uh, tonight, I do want to tell you that if you liked what you saw tonight, please feel free to share this. If you have any questions and comments, some of you are so good about that, about asking questions, make sure you pass it on to somebody else because maybe it'll help somebody else. I'm not saying everything that I always say is perfect. It's what works for me. And I hope it truly works for you. Building your own baits is fun. In the coming weeks, we're going to be talking more things about uh, some cool baits like some of the new tweaks that you can do on your crankbaits with the new hybrid treble. We're going to be building some more rods. We're going to be having some fun things to do on top water. Just a whole bunch of stuff going on here now that we have the new studio here at Hook and Hunt TV. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Always glad to be with you. God bless you. We'll see you soon. <laughs>